19 year old Annette Namwe delivered her baby from home at Bugumia village in Bukabori sub county Mayuge district. <coughs> Unfortunately, the baby died shortly after due to complications. Namwe is now receiving treatment at Kiganda Rohese Center 4 where she was rushed after she bled a lot. Namwe delivered with the help of her mother who does not have any skills in baby delivery. The 19-year-old says she was reluctant to go to health facility because she did not expect much help. A report by Mayuge Health Authority shows that more than 80% of pregnant mothers deliver from home. Dr. Ibrahim Gwaruka is in charge of Kiganda Health Center 4. Currently she can't walk and she was also bleeding. I think for what she's lucky she came in a bit early. We have tried to control the situation and she's getting on track. She's improving and she will be discharged soon. The baby died because she, she, the home delivery, no one was there technically to assist. Most of the mothers here deliver at home with the help of traditional birth attendants who the health ministry advised mothers against. There are a number of mothers that are pregnant and don't want to attend at dental care and even our institutional deliveries are still very, very low. When you look at the sub count of Vuka Boy, out of 100%, only 12 mothers are delivering from medical centers, designated health facilities. When you look at Mpungwe, only 70% of the mothers are delivering in these health centers. According to Dr. Gwaruka, traditional birth attendants are responsible for the death of many mothers, largely because they do not know how to control breeding after delivery. This has negatively impacted on the health of the community. Recently, last Sunday, we buried the mother the second to She died of PPH, and this was because she did it. it was a home delivery. Bukabori sub county has a population of 48,000 people, but has only two health center tools. Some mothers find it hard to access these services due to long distances and inadequate health personnel, many of whom are demotivated due to huge numbers of patients. People are far away from the services. Then they wouldn't see the purpose of going to the health center. They would just go to the banana plantation, they deliver from there, and the others would die there, which is not good. The district does not have an ambulance. This very Chicago Health Center for had an ambulance. But it's now five years, it is just there. It is lying idle there. They cannot maintain it. It is just there. And I've, at least I've seen Minnesota Health giving out ambulances. But for all that time, they haven't considered the Mayuge 